So what should your syllabus look like for this class? Well, I don't presume to tell you what your syllabus should look like, but when I write uh, my syllabus, I try to scaffold as much of the information that's going on in the class in that document. It's, I treat it as a contract between me and my students, and I think that's a typical way of thinking about it. And so I want to provide as much specificity as possible. Now put yourself in the role of a student. You may go through a great deal of training associated with pedagogy, but students may not be aware of that training. They may not be aware of why you're doing what you're doing. So you can provide videos that explain that, but you can also put it in your syllabus. You can write it down so that they can see it in that format as well if they prefer it. So you're going to want to scaffold all of the sorts of activities that you're doing and, in my opinion, to be transparent, you're going to want to explain why you're doing them. So if you say there's going to be a brief quiz, for example, there doesn't need to be, but there's going to be a brief quiz at the beginning of every class based on the video that you've watched, that's different for students. They're not used to watching a video before class instead of a lecture. They're not used necessarily to taking a quiz on the content that they had before class, but maybe they are. And so saying, this is going to be part of the policy, so you don't just have to pull it up later and say, oh, oh, by the way, we're doing quizzes now, and by the way, they'll be graded. But explaining that in the syllabus, so students come in saying, all right, I understand, I need to have watched a video, and I'll be taking a graded quiz using whatever format is required in that class, will be helpful for students. Trying to nail down all of the specifics in advance, as well as you can, is advisable, in my opinion. It means that you're confident in the way that the classroom is going to be operating. Students are aware of that. They know what to expect, even if it's entirely new for them. They're used to lecture classes or they're first-year students and they've never seen this before very well. They can read it, though, and they can put themselves in the appropriate mind state for what's being, going to be going on in the classroom. You'll likely get less pushback from that. You'll feel more comfortable because you say, these are the policies we've set forth. This is how they're going to be affected throughout class and you're going to be able to operate more quickly, more effectively in the classroom. You're not going to need to spend as much time bringing people up to speed. I encourage you, again, to do all of this that you can in video as well, but make sure that the contract that you sign with your students, the syllabus, is written accordingly.